Hello and welcome to Mastering PyCharm. In this course, we're going to look at all the different features of one of the very best Python IDEs, PyCharm, and see how you can make the most of this super powerful editor. So let's jump right into what we're going to cover. First thing we're going to talk about is why do we want to use an IDE? What value does some large heavyweight application like PyCharm bring and why would we want to use it? You'll see there's like many, many reasons and you'll definitely want to use many of the features that are there. But let's talk about the various types of editors we can use and what the trade-offs are there. When we're working with PyCharm, we're focused on this idea called projects. So this is like a group of Python files and associated other static and data files that all work together. So there's many of the features in PyCharm that work at this level. So we're going to start by focusing on creating new projects and working with all the files. And you'll see there's a bunch of configuration switches we can set to make it be a little more effective. Then we're going to jump right into what I would say is the star of the show, the editor, right? If you're writing code, you need an editor. If you're going to be typing, manipulating text. Of course, the editor has to be awesome. And we're going to focus on all the cool features that the PyCharm editor offers us. We'll see that source control, in particular, get and subversion are really deeply integrated into PyCharm. There's all sorts of powerful things we can do, including actual GitHub integration, not just Git, but GitHub integration into like GitHub issues and things like that. So we're going to focus on source control and the features uh, right inside the IDE that we can use for Git and GitHub and things like that. We're going to see that PyCharm is great at refactoring. This is changing our code to restructure it to maybe be structured in a different way to use a slightly different algorithm, but not actually changing the behavior of the code. So we'll see there are many, many powerful techniques in PyCharm that you can use to do this. And because it understands all of your files at once, it can safely do this. It'll even do this out in doc strings and things like that. So we'll see how the, the tools there work. And that's really quite amazing. There's some really interesting database tooling and database integration in PyCharm. So you'll be able to interact with uh, databases, you know, SQLite, um, MySQL, whatever, right? You can connect to all the different types of databases, these relational databases, and edit the data, edit the schemas, and things like that. And you'll even see that there's one really amazing feature that makes its way back into the editor when you're working with SQL strings in your Python code. PyCharm is great at building web applications. So, Typically, this would be something like Django or Pyramid or Flask or something like that, but it also builds other types of web things. So it has a full JavaScript editor and environment in there. It could do TypeScript or CoffeeScript. It could even do things like Electron.js. So lots of really cool stuff in here. And we'll talk about all the both server-side and client-side features on the web in PyCharm. You'll see that it has a great visual debugger. So we're going to look at all the different features that we can use to debug and understand our application, including some really powerful breakpoint operations that typically editors don't have. In Python, we use the concept of packaging to bundle up and share and reuse our libraries. We'll see that PyCharm has a ton of features to make and understand these packages. So it understands the file structure packages, how to do automatic imports, but it'll also do things like automatically generate you a setup.py so people can install and configure your package, not just copy the files over. So all sorts of good stuff there. We'll talk about that. Profiling is really important if you want to understand how your code is running. If your application is slow and you want it to go faster, you really shouldn't guess. You'll see that it's it's easy to look at code and think that this is the slow part and that's the fast part, but sometimes that's just not the case and our intuition is often bad. And so we use tooling, profiling in particular, to understand the performance. And you'll see that PyCharm has some really great built-in visual types of tools for us to, use, to basically understand the performance of our app. It has great built-in test runners for PyTest, for the built-in unit test, and a number of others that we're going to see. So if you're doing any sort of unit testing or integration testing, that uh, that's built in, and we'll explore some of the really cool features. Like, for example, there's one feature you can turn on for auto test running. And so if it knows that you're changing certain parts of your code, it'll automatically rerun the test just as you type in the background and tell you basically on the side continuously, your code is good. Your code is bad, all right? So we'll see how to do that and a bunch of other cool stuff in the testing realm. 
They've integrated Jupyter Notebooks and a special data science view with really cool documentation and all sorts of stuff to help you explore your data. So we're going to talk about the data science tools and how those appear in PyCharm. There's a couple of additional tools that don't really land in any of these other categories that I've defined here. So I just made a, here's the stuff that didn't fit in any of the boxes I created. <laughs> Throw this at the end, additional tools. So there's a few other really cool handy things that don't really classify themselves as uh, fitting in with the others. So we'll talk about those. And last but not least, there's hundreds of plugins that you can get for PyCharm to make it do other things. Like for example, do you want it to have like Vim key bindings? Great, go get the Vim plugin and plug it in and you got Vim bindings for your editor, things like that.